Today's lesson is the second lesson on area, and it is introducing the yellow material. Okay, so um, I have a figure here, or a shape, and what is this shape called? Yeah, it's called a rectangle. So in order to find the area of this rectangle, we are going to have to find a unit or a measure to see how many of those units we have contained inside this figure, okay? So our unit is going to be the square, and there are actually some special names for certain figures or shapes, and the square has a special name, um, and it's called the measurer, because we can use a square to measure. Okay, so here is our first shape and you might have noticed that it has these tick marks across the top okay and across one of the sides okay so the square that we want to be our measurer this is going to be the length of its side okay do you see that and this is going to be the length of its other side okay so imagine that we trace these lines all the way across and they're going to be parallel to each other so this line would go all the way across this line would go all the way across and this line would be go all the way across and this you see that how they line up this is what we would have now imagine that we do the same thing for these lines on the top so we trace them all the way down and so that they're parallel to each other. And we do that for each one. We would have, you see how they line up? This is what we would have. Okay, now imagine that we took these last, these two. Let me move this out of the way. And imagine they were transparent. You could see through them. And we put one on top of the other. So if we did that, we would have this. And now to calculate the area of the surface of this rectangle, all we have to do is count the squares. So you can pause the video if you like and count up and see what the area is of our rectangle. All right, and that is your lesson for today. See you next time.